The risk is modest, but given the widespread use of supplements, even a small increase could mean a large burden on health care. Canada's oldest and largest veterinary college is under pressure to change one of its policies. You may not know this, but the University of Guelph has been euthanizing dogs used for practice surgeries. But that policy could change thanks to one veterinarian student and a beagle named Rainbow. The CBC's Kimberly Gale explains. Come on. Paul Ward is taking Rainbow for her daily walk. This beagle isn't just any old dog. She was bred especially for use in a lab, and her fate was to die. But last October, Ward answered an online ad and saved Rainbow. If I hadn't known that she'd been in the lab, I wouldn't have guessed it, because she is so sociable. The ad was posted by Anya Yushchenko, a foreign vet student at the University of Guelph. The school is one of the biggest and oldest in the country. As a foreign student, Yushchenko has to do practice surgery on live animals to recertify in Canada. It's a policy the school has had for four years. But the policy also says the dog must be euthanized after the surgery, and Anya just couldn't do it. So there is no medical reasons to kill the dogs after you complete the surgery. She spayed Rainbow but refused to euthanize her. Yushchenko faced failing the program, so she sought legal advice and put up a fight. She won. So a lot of my students were supporting me, but they were afraid they, they would have to drop the program as well. So out of uh, 40 dogs, uh, just one was recovered. Dr. Elizabeth Stone is dean of the college. They made an exception for Rainbow and say the university is re-examining its entire policy. And what we're committed to now is to having enough supervisors present so that these trainees will be able to do the space successfully and the animal will be healthy when it's recovered. Advocacy group Animal Alliance wants to ensure all dogs like Rainbow are saved and find homes. And we think that vets can be educated and graduate and operate well out in the world taking care of other people's pets without having to hurt a single animal to get there. The school has graduated nearly 160 foreign vets. That means nearly 160 euthanized dogs. But since Yushchenko's protest, there are now 10 beagles up for adoption early next month. Kimberly Gale, CBC News, Toronto.